Hi everyone, it's Kathy Koliakovo with Time on Task Virtual Assistant Services. You can find us online at timeontaskva.com. So today I'm going to show you how to screen share using Skype. Skype is a fabulous tool that many people that work virtually or remotely use a lot. A lot of people use it just as a communication tool um, to connect and talk with people far away to save on long distance charges and whatnot. So you're actually chatting through your computer as opposed to using a phone. Now Skype does have paid versions so you can certainly um, use that as a way of phoning people as well depending on the service that you buy with them. But today what I'm going to show you is actually how to do a call with somebody and share your screen on Skype. It's a fabulous way if you're trying to get a message across to somebody or show them how to do something and you know it's one of those things where you find yourself pointing at your screen trying to let them know what you're talking about and finger pointing through a computer screen doesn't always work when it comes to making someone understand. So what you want to look at is actually um, calling someone through Skype and then you can actually share your screen. So I'm going to give a call here to one of my virtual assistant friends, Patty and we're going to get her on the phone and I'm going to show you how we screen share when we do that. Hi Patty, it's Kathy. <laughs> I told you I'd be calling so we've got you on here on video and I'm going to show people how we're going to share our screens. So one of the tricks is you actually have to be on a call with someone. You can't just be chatting in order to share a screen. So you do have to pick up the button, hit call, and then once you do you go over to the menu where it says call go down to the share screen button and I have two monitors so it's going to ask me which one I want to share with and I could click either one. It's going to be the one here on the left side so I hit start and once I do then I've got a little window that opens up. It lets me know that I am sharing the screen. So Patty can you see the window now? Okay, perfect. So she'll be able to see it from her end. You may need to, um, there's a spot there where you can enlarge the screen on your side that you can see it. So that is what you may need to do in order to make it enlarged on your screen and see it in a full screen version. And then if you do want to, um, you know, control what you're doing or hang up when you're talking to the person, you would need to use the little box here that you'll see. Um, for the Skype message part. So because once you do the call to them it switches down to a little box so that it's out of the way and you can see they can see what's happening. So that is a very simple way to share the screen with someone when you're using Skype and when you're all done you just hit stop sharing it'll pop back up so your window is not seen any longer on theirs and you can also continue to um, instant message them through the chat box here and that's the best way to do it. If you also want to do a quick way of sending a file over to someone you can go under conversation and hit send and then scroll over to file and then you can go and pick up any file that you want to. Um, you can, I'll just pull one up here, an older report, hit open and Patty will be getting a note on the other side now indicating that she's got the report here. You do have to save it first to your desktop and then the button comes up to open it up and you've taken that and quickly and easily sent a file over. So that is the lesson for today on how to share your screen on Skype and thank you Patty for uh, being patient and, and uh, picking up the phone so I could do this with everybody. Alright, have a great day. Bye bye. And that is the end of how you can share your screen on Skype. For more tips and business information, you can certainly follow our blog at timeontaskva.com slash blog. Have a great day, everyone.